Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take another quick look at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Now, I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, in the very first video, I showed you this guy. It was this red storage case. It's a Plano, uh, more like a fishing tackle box kind of thing, but uh, it does a very good job in holding all of these Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures. Um, unfortunately, it's been getting too small uh, to handle everything that I've been getting, so I've had to upgrade to this. So today's video is just going to uh, briefly take you through this larger case and what it can do as far as storage. Okay, now just to quickly reintroduce you to my red storage case. This is the one that I um, showed you in the very first video in this series. It has a top hatch here. And then uh, inside... It has a fairly good amount of room. Um, it was able to hold two of the larger ships over here on the right and a bunch of the smaller ships over here on the left. Um, I had the storage cards here, if I remember correctly, the uh, various maneuver dials, um, and the little plastic bases here. Uh, this was, uh, for the record, model number 5231. At least that's what Amazon says it is, so if you're looking for this particular case, um, it is model 5231. It's a Plano um, red storage case. It's about 10 bucks. Um, right now, though, as of today's date, I think it's March, I want to say 7th or 8th um, of 2014, it's going to take four to six weeks to actually, sh actually ship from Amazon. I guess this was in high demand as of late. So you may not see this um, right away if you order it. So let's go ahead and move on to my larger storage case, the one I just recently picked up. Okay, now on to the one that I'm actually using right now. First thing to note, um, there's actually a handle that pulls out. That's not something that was in the red case. Uh, okay, now if we open this side up, again, just like with the red case, there is a top hatch that you can open. I have nothing in here right now just because I don't have enough stuff to put there. However, if you were to flip this over to the other side, this is a double-sided storage case. Um, the red doesn't have this. On the other side of the red case, it's just blank. But on the blue storage case here, um, there's another side to it. And you can flip that hatch open as well. And uh, this is the same setup uh, that I had with my red storage case. I've got my shield tokens up here, um, evade, focus, critical hits, ion. I've got my dice here, stress tokens. Um, these are my targeting locks here, all of my miscellaneous tokens over here on the right. Um, I've also got my range ruler, uh, various maneuver templates here. Um, this is a proximity mine. Uh, what else we got? We've got a bunch of asteroids over here on the right hand side. And that's pretty much um, it as far as the little pieces go. Um, now, you can also open this. I'll go ahead and do that now. And um, the way I have this set up, I have Rebels on one side and Imperials on the other. And there's a separate uh, case on the other side that flips open just like this one does. But uh, this is just my Rebel stuff right now. I've got my Millennium Falcon here, the maneuver uh, ba the templates and the bases down here. Um, I've also got, what's this here? All of my little guide cards that I've been collecting as I've been buying these expansion packs, they all go right here. I've got my maneuver dials here. Um, all of the pilots um, that I've collected thus far, quite a number of them. Um, you've also got your bases here. And what else? we got some ships here. Now, this is something new that I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, I just recently purchased the Lambda shuttle um, and the... Uh, HWK, I, the number escapes me. Let me see here if I can find it real quick. Uh, yeah, the HWK-290, basically Cal Catan ship uh, from Dark Forces, if you happen to remember that video game from back in the day. But yeah, I'll be covering those in future videos. But as you can see, here's my Rebel setup. B-Wing, Y-Wing, A-Wing, two X-Wings, bases, and yeah. So let me go ahead and close this up. And let's go ahead and flip this back over to the other side. And we'll go ahead and open this side up. And it's the same look on the inside here. Um, I've got the Lambda class shuttle. Again, I'll be covering that in a future video. Um, Boba Fett's ship here. Slave One. And all my uh, Imperial ships. TIE Interceptor, TIE Bomber, TIE Advance, TIE Fighters. And all of my upgrade cards I've put here. Uh, this side actually contains the upgrade cards. I've also got my damage cards uh, somewhere in here. I just don't remember where. Uh, probably underneath here. Yeah. Um, I've also got my Imperial ships. Or Imperial pilots, rather. 
So you can see there's a good number of those. Um, again, I've got my maneuver dials over here. I've got uh, the bases, the pegs, and all of the bases here. All right, and that is all there is to it. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this particular case uh, if you're heavy into this game, just because um, it does a better job in holding the larger ships. Um, and you'll obviously need a lot more room. Um, this red one was a great starter, but it did not have enough room on the inside to handle the larger ships. I have a total of three larger ships now, and that would not have fit over here. And if you happen to be buying a lot of the smaller ships, like X-Wings and TIE Fighters and TIE Interceptors, you eventually would run out of room. So this blue one is the next step up. It's a good one. Um, I got it for like $25 on Amazon. I think the model number... According to my little notepad here, 3952-10. Again, that's what Amazon says. I don't know if that's actually the case. Um, but it's about $25 to $30, and it's actually available on Amazon, so it got to me in like a week. So yeah, definitely check this case out if you're looking to upgrade your collection. I don't know what to tell you as far as those larger ships that are planned in future expansions. There's supposed to be, I believe, a uh, Rebel Transport and a Corellian Corvette uh, planned in the future. And those look much larger than um, the Slave One and the Lambda do. So yeah, um, definitely pick this up. Highly recommend it. And there you have it. Uh, nothing fancy, but I hope it helps give you an idea on what to do about your storage needs as far as this miniatures game goes. Uh, I'll include links in the below description to both of these products in case you're interested in purchasing either one. You can check out my reviews of the base game at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com or you can click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.